Okay, fellow vault dwellers. I'm on a little bit of exploration now. I've got my uh, low health quad commando build here. These are the perks I'm using. Some are damage orientated. I'm hoping to put tenderizer in when I've leveled that up a bit more for some extra points. Uh, that's all I need for that. I carry the batteries included because I, you know, need the energy ammo for another weapon of mine. But if you weren't using energy weapons, you could lose those. Probably stick them in charisma because that tenderizer is a good damage bonus. Some of these are defensive perks because I like to not be so squishy. You can actually run without serpent serendipity, dodgy, but you have to be really careful. I'm also trying to get another point in luck. I'm going to put that one in there, even though it's very unlikely to be used. Because I want to bring my special up to 33 plus. So that's why. It gives me a critical shot every other shot then. I'm using my faster fire rate. Two star. I also have a fat 50 two star. And I'm just using both because I'm curious to which one's better. As you can see, they don't last long. I'm very unlikely to be spotted. Because my armour is shadowed and unyielding. And I'm in 20% or less health. I'm getting all the bonuses from it. Even though I'm using a quad, I've got a bad habit of reloading. Now, a lot of people think this evasive card that I'm using works when you run out of sight of the enemy, but it doesn't. It actually works if you run right at them. that fast to fire it has no problem smacking them from that distance. It's modded with a quick mag because I find I can empty the entire clip before my AP runs out that way. Duggo stuck in the wall. There you go. You'll find using criticals. means weapons, all you have to do is touch them and then you get a critical shot and the critical shots always hit unless per se to say no I can hear them behind them and he, he down over there. <laughs> he 
same time players. See that? I just took spray fire. Although they can't see you, they will shoot in your direction. And if you're not careful, that can be quite powerful. Nice of them. Another little place that people forget about is Morgantown. There's a lot of goats ready to be en ended here. Obviously, super mutants are probably the best for experience. I like to mix it up. There's only so many super mutants I can shoot before I'm uh, exhausted by it. They're all sleeping at the minute. Wake them up, shall we? As you can see, there's no problem apart from shooting them through fences. That's uh, that's not possible. We'll switch over to this one and see what difference it makes. Although I haven't got it modified with a swift mag, it's actually got a perforating. And believe me, that takes a lot more AP than you think. <laughs> it kills, doesn't it? I'm also going to put a prime receiver on this one. I'm just using up my ammo that I've got on me, standard 556. But I like the handmade. I know everyone raves about the fixer, but the handmade's way cooler. I mean, feel free to disagree, but I like it. You haven't got to sneak around, you know, with this build. It will kill them standing up. <laughs> if you're in a hurry. 
I'm running a uh, insulated backpack mod to protect against the radiation. The only thing that will really kill you is poison. And if you really want, you can take Funky Dud's legendary card for that. I just avoid the uh, the stingy things that kill you like that, you know. So those critical shots make up the distance of a silenced weapon. I can just pull off some uh, crazy shots. that's it for now let's pop back to uh, my camp and I'll show you the changes I made Right, we're here. So, looks pretty much the same on the outside, I'm not going to lie. But I decided to go back to that lodge wood. A little bit of uh, brick work in there just to break up the wood a little bit. I'll turn that into a shower room. Kept this one as the toilet. Yeah, I think it looks better when you can see the lodge wood. Just gives it a nice effect. I feel it's pretty much the same. I added in that stash box just for people at my shop. Most people will probably not even know that's a stash box if I'm honest, but you know, I'll put it there for them anyway. cleared up the outside a bit. I'll put a weapons and armour workbench down. Just the bare essentials basically for scrapping stuff off and stashing stuff. Try to keep it neat and tidy. Anyway. Next I'll take us on a nice adventure on my next video. We'll go hunt some big game. We might even use a black powder rifle just for fun. Alright. See you all soon.